what's going on guys assalamu alaikum welcome to amigos code in this video i want to talk to you about whether you should be loyal to your company this week i've just recorded a video saying that you should work really hard because of what's happening and whether you should really be worried about your git commits now obviously you know a lot of people commented and um, i decided to you know make a follow-up video because it's important that you have a clear strategy when things like what's happening right now in terms of people being let go so we've seen twitter we've seen facebook all the big tech companies they are firing people right now now this is not the end of the world there are still companies hiring at the moment but less right so if you compare this time around with last year people weren't being sacked as much as now now what would be the best strategy for you as a software engineer when stuff like this happens. In my opinion, you should be loyal to your company up to a certain degree. And you've seen that the best engineers are always replaceable. It doesn't matter if you think that there isn't someone else out there way cleverer than you. There's always someone that will outperform you and uh, just just remember that you are replaceable, right? So sometimes we feel like, you know, giving everything to the company and uh, it just happens that, you know, you might be fired, things are not working out anymore, or there's been many changes at the company that you used to work. It's, it's not the same as before. And you kind of think, you know what? This was a company that I thought maybe I would stay here for a very long time. Now, this is why I'm saying that you should always have a plan because things are unpredictable now working hard yes absolutely it doesn't matter the company that you work for so there was a comment saying um, i don't work hard i work smart now i would argue with you and i would say you should work hard and smart at the same time right because these companies they hire you for your talent right and, um, you know, if, if you're saying, you know what, I'm just going to work for them and from nine to five and I'm out of here. Right. So, yes, you can do that. But at the same time, like just put yourself in the same situation. Let's say that you now have a startup and you need talent and you need people to work behind your back. Right. So now just imagine if everyone that works for you would leave, you know, five o'clock, you wouldn't see like people working really hard for you. Like it's not nice so in my in my view yes you should work really hard right so this is my philosophy but also smart right so you could do both not just one or the other and whatever good that you that you do it will always come back to you just remember that whatever good that you do it will always come back to you because now imagine that so if you work really hard you work really smart and imagine that maybe uh, the company that you work for they fired you and at the same time you used to work with a friend or a manager at the same company as you and they have this perception about you that you know what this guy i could count on him for pretty much everything he was there he is rock solid he puts in the work and is a good person then you can basically just get your next job through recommendation please right so give your everything now, in terms of being loyal to the company itself, so there's two things here. As I said, sometimes you can be the most loyal and then boom, and you fire just like night and day. And you're like, Do you know what? I used to be loyal and whatnot. Now, being loyal, you can't be loyal, right? And, and I think that you should be loyal to your company, but always have a backup plan. And that is, Keep tabs with recruiters. Keep tabs with recruiters because they will be your next point of contact as soon as you leave your job. So up to today, up to today, I've got few recruiters that time to time, they call me just to check on whether I'm interested in new roles with high paying salary. And that's really good because now all of a sudden, if I get fired, I could just pick up my phone, call, let's say Pinto. Do you have any roles available for me right now? Or John, what's happening with the market? And you can see how this will put you in a much better position. The other thing also that I would advise you to do is for you to 
interview from time to time, even though that you don't want to leave your current company, but just be ready. So maybe have interviews every once a month or every once in two months so that you basically are prepared for interviews. And you know that sometimes we get too comfortable and we have to then go back to the basics and do all these coding challenges that can be really nerve wracking. But if you are interviewing from time to time, then if, for example, you get sacked, then, you know, you can just basically start applying for roles and you don't have that pressure of, you know, what? oh, I haven't been into an interview for so long. I need to prepare and all that anxiety, which is like really crazy. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think, really, because, you know, I I said I was really sorry and I just wanted to work hard. But also, I want the best for you. Right. Yes. Work hard, work smart and um, yeah, be loyal to your company. But also at the end of the day, like it's your own interest. Right. So you might have, you know, mortgage, you might have bills to pay, you might have kids, you might have family back home that you have to send money. So, um, yeah, so it's it's all on your interest and not on the company's interest because you are replaceable. Just remember that there's someone out there way better than you. And that is almost guaranteed. I remember I used to work with really smart developers and um, they would just be gone just like that. And I would be like, oh, wow. You know, I thought, you know, they're really smart and, and they're just gone. And the next guy that comes in, you know, we could just you know, carry on the work and, um, yeah, it's just the industry that we live in and, uh, yeah, it's, it's really tough moments, but you know, just be smart, work hard and, um, yeah, let me know what you thought about this video, comment down below, smash that like button and I'll catch you on the next one. Assalamualaikum.